Derek Poltice, declare here before the Lord and these witnesses that I take as my lawful wife, Rachel Bartman, here present. I promise to love and guide you faithfully, to care for you, and to live with you in holiness, according to the Holy Gospel. I promise never to forsake you, but to be true to you always, in good days and bad, in riches and poverty, in health and sickness, for as long as we both shall live. Rachel Bartman, declare here before the Lord and these witnesses that I take as my lawful husband, Derek Boltais, your prison. I promise to love and obey you, to assist you, and to live with you in holiness, according to the Holy Gospel. I also promise never to forsake you, but to be true to you always, in good days and bad, riches and poverty, in health and sickness, for as long as we both shall live. <laughs> Derek and I have been best of buddies since uh, 1997. Uh, so you can imagine my surprise when Derek called me up and said that I would have to go head to head with Lucas and Jeremy for the position of best man. I lost, uh, and so now I stand here before you guys tonight. <laughs> Rachel, the man that you're marrying, Derek Bultice, my best friend, is uh, one of the most gentle, kind, and uh, hardworking guys that I know. Uh, and there is no higher praise that I can give for you than saying that you deserve this man. As her older sister, I've had the privilege of watching Rachel grow up to be a strong, beautiful woman. Rachel's not just my little sister, but she's my best friend. I love you both so much, and I thank God every day for bringing you two together, and I look forward to seeing what he has planned for you guys in the future. Here we are, Rachel and Derek's wedding day. Such a great day. So much to be thankful for, such a future to look forward to together. Rachel and Derek are two amazing individuals, and together they will become, they have become, an even more amazing couple. They live, they love, they laugh. Rachel and Derek love constantly, forgive quickly, and share everything. Be each other's best friends, keep your hearts open to each other, put the Lord first in your marriage, and He will bless both of you always. You know the usual, no dates alone, spend equal time with your friends, no kissing till you're three, all that kind of stuff. But after all that shaping, worrying, and lecturing, we're looking forward to having her for a long time. Truthfully, we didn't have much to say in the matter, <laughs> other than giving them the guidance that we thought best. It was the Lord who blessed you both with a love for each other and also for Him. It's such a blessing for us as parents, and we thank Him for His grace. It's our humble prayer that we will, He will bless this union and that you will seek to honor Him in your marriage in return. Congratulations to you both.